In this video, I am going to show you how to create an easy and simple before and after transition so you can show the before and after of your color grading process to your audience. So without any further ado, let's start the tutorial. I have opened a new project in Premiere Pro and imported both of the before and after videos in this project. You can import the files into your project by right clicking here in the project window and clicking import and then selecting your videos then you can import them in your project. So let's start the tutorial. I will right click on the before video and create a new sequence from this video. You will see that it, it has created a new sequence from this video. Now I will put the second video on top of that video. Now I have both of them uh, besides each other. You can see if I disable the first one, the after one, and it shows the before one underneath it. And if I turn this on, you will see that it will show you the after video, which has been color graded. I will remove these uh, audios because I do not need them. Let's select the part where they start to walk. Saying here is good, they will start to walk. I will press the C and to cut these parts and then select these parts and delete them and by right clicking here you can ripple delete and now it's uh, from the beginning where they start to walk now uh, we want to make a before and after transition for this uh, color grading uh, i will uh, select the after one and just remove a little bit of the start and then uh, we go to the effects and the effect we want to use here is the wipe effect uh, search wipe and come down you will see the wipe effect and uh, click and drag this to the start of the after clip you will see that it has been added to the start of the clip and just uh, you can just change the duration of this filter I will uh, play this video so you can see how it looks. You see what a beautiful transition we have here. You can change the duration if you want it to be a little slower. Now it will take more time to go from left to right. Uh, you can make other changes like by clicking on the uh, wipe effect and going to the effects control. You have multiple uh, options here. For example, you can reverse it. You see that it comes from right to left. Uh, you can uh, uh, change the border color. For example, I will select a white color and I will change the border width uh, to five pixel. Now you will see a border, a white border. It's beautiful. You can change from where it comes, for example, it will come diagonally. It comes diagonally. Now you want to repeat this action and just uh, cut this part, for example, and cut the before video too. And now change the pos uh, positions of these videos. Put the before up and after down. I will put the before up and after down. And now just remove a little part of the starting again. And just copy the wipe. Drag and drop the wipe effect to the start of the video. Now let's uh, play again. You will see it again. You can it 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 come it came the first one came from the top right to the uh, bottom left. Now uh, we want this for, to go from the bottom left to the top right. And we will select this option. It will go from the bottom left to the top right. Now I just uh, have to add that uh, uh, white border. And border width 5 pixel like the other one. Now let's start from the beginning and see how it looks. It's a little bit choppy. I need to render this, but I will do it in the at the end. Or I can change this to lower the quality and we can see the playback. 
beautiful and you can add another one to go to the after one for the final shot i will change the positions bring the before down and after up Rem remove a little bit of the starting and then adding the wipe effect the last one came from the left bottom to the top right and again we will come from the top right to the left bottom and border color to white and border width to 5 pixel you see it's really beautiful I will cut the rest of the video and delete them and now I will render this video so you can see in full quality I hope this video was useful to you and if you liked it, don't forget to press that like button and subscribe to my YouTube channel so you do not miss any of my upcoming videos, tutorials, cinematic videos, etc. Have a great day!